Republican Senator Jeff Flake of Arizona, who has sparred frequently with President Donald Trump, will not run for re-election, he said Tuesday in a blistering floor speech bemoaning the changing tenor of politics in the United States. If I have been critical, it not because I relish criticizing the behavior of the President of the United States, Flake said. If I have been critical, it is because I believe that it is my obligation to do so, as a matter of duty and conscience. His decision means Flake joins retiring Tennessee Senator Bob Corker as an outspoken critic of Trump with nothing to lose in the year before 2018's midterm elections. Flake's congressional career came full circle. He began in the House in 2001 as an outsider raging against earmarks. By the time he launched his Senate campaign in 2012, he was a favorite of conservative groups like the Club for Growth, which had grown in power and influence on Capitol Hill. Now, Flake is again on the outs, with Trump's populist policies taking hold with Republican voters. In politics and personality, Trump and Flake have little in common. Flake, a Mormon from the tiny town of Snowflake, Arizona, is polite and introspective. He journals regularly and, while in the House, regularly emailed his thoughts on travel and policy to a small, private list of family and friends. We shouldn't hesitate to speak out if the president plays to the base in ways that damage the Republican Party's ability to grow and speak to a larger audience, Flake wrote. Trump, meanwhile, had long plotted to oust Flake. He told supportive Republicans in Arizona prior to the 2016 election that he would spend $10 million of his own money to see that Flake is unseated in the primary. His White House has been in regular contact with State Treasurer Jeff DeWitt, former State Party Chairman Robert Graham and other Republicans about the race. Former Trump White House Chief Strategist Steve Bannon backed toward even while working in the White House, and Robert Mercer. The GOP mega donor and close Bannon ally has given $300,000 to a pro award super PAC, 